Hi, I have uh, glittery handbags here, and you've guessed it, it's white. They are uh, White and Davis, three of them, and one is an Australian brand called um, Oroton. So, Whiting and Davis um, company, they are known for their uh, mesh bags and glitters and met metallic sheen and all that. And um, surprisingly, they are still selling or producing handbags until now. I just um, went into their websites and um, these bags are actually being carried um, the Oscars by you know, um, Sharon, not, not Sharon Stone, by Nicole Kidman, um, Eva, Eva Longoria, and um, uh, even Paris Hilton was photographed uh, carrying Whiting and Davis. So this company was actually uh, established in 1876. Okay, so I would assume that the earliest Whiting and Davis bag here would be this style. This style. It's gorgeous. Can you just... This is really, really nice. And I also saw a White and Davis uh, mesh bag, but you ha it's like a shuttle lane. You have to open the top. It opens. And uh, I didn't buy that because it was very, very costly. They are White and Davis vintage bags are really, really very sought after, but they are priced, you know. When you go to a vintage shop, this is probably worth like $200 or $150 to $200. So I, I didn't buy this from a, a thrift shop. No, from, from a vintage shop, but I bought this from, I think, a uh, consignment shop. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was probably $40, which is, which is uh, really nice. And um, I was just comparing the pictures um, like this. Th that was the very first design of uh, White and Davis in 1876. So and that's the 1920s, and they have been featured, of, of course, everywhere in the fashion magazines and 1930s. Oh, so this must be in the 1930s then. Oh, it doesn't have, it doesn't have a bit at <laughs> uh, the end, but I would assume that was in the 1930s because of the shape and style of this handbag. Okay, so uh, there is no tarnishing at all. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, I've seen some White and Davis bags that are made in China as well. So I'm not so sure about that. But they do have all the um, tags that says White and Davis and very well made. So I think that that would be a newer version of White and Davis. Okay, so this is the lining. It has a bit of staining there. Uh, I plan to uh, clean this with shout, but, eh, you know doesn't bother me and it has a number there 2900 and yeah I did uh, uh, buy uh, a snake buckle or mesh um, belt but I already sold that it sold for a hundred dollars I bought it for I think 40 or 50 dollars from yeah but it's just that I I couldn't you know I couldn't Mm, you know, I'm not going to use it. So I just ended up, you know, putting up online. Okay, so this is just so cute. This is my favorite. And I, uh, I also sold one White and Davis before, but it's in the metallic silver. This is so cute. It has like a, uh, I thought this was uh, um, a stain before. I was like, what was that? But, you know, I didn't know that it's the style. And let me just show you the, um, the brand, uh, the tag. It says... Mm -hmm. Whiting and Davis mash made in the USA. Trademark. Okay. And they have numbers. They have a trademark there too and the number there. So I really don't know the significance. 2990. Okay. Made in USA. Ah, oh, all right. So this is really, really nice. And I've also learned um, it's in my, because I have a lot of handbag books in the history of handbags that uh it's just silly that um the uh, handbags were actually like a representation of the human i mean of the female reproductive system <laughs> they call it uh i forgot the term so because when you open it that's what that that was like the um comparison or something like that it was in the history so when you open it it's like oh that's really really silly but you know it's something you know it's it's, it's in the books in the history so okay that's that's a bit you know 
Silly, okay. And of course, like you know, the his, in the history of handbags, men were the first ones to wear a handbag before, but they wore it around their waist, ways to carry keys and other metals and things like that. So, and now we ended up, we women are, you know, the um, uh, we use handbags more more often than men. Okay, this is another Whiting Davis, and I would um suppose this is in the newer newer. Oh, here, there you go. Whiting Davis International is made in China. This is in the newer newer style already, or newer version. It's still mesh, 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 and yeah. I was just wondering because this is a bit tarnished already, but this one. They're still not tarnished at all. So there must be, uh, this is made in the USA and this is made in China. Okay. Now, this is the third one that I got from the flea market last Friday, Saturday. And I was like, okay, uh, how much is this? She told me 10 bucks. Okay. Sold. So, <laughs> so there. Um, yeah, it's really nice. I like this because of the style. And this is pretty, pretty big compared to the normal White and Davis handbags. And the opening is like this. Oh, oh, jeez, I can't even. I'm sorry, I have to put it down. Okay, it's hard. I have to battle it. <laughs> okay, so that's the uh, interior of the bag. And this is, of course, it says mesh White and Davis bags, trademark. Made in USA. So this is a medium-sized handbag. So it's pretty, pretty nice. And the last one, last mesh bag that I have, um, I bought this from a consignment shop in Sarasota. It was actually very expensive. I think I paid $50 for this, but I so wanted it because I've never owned a mesh bag before. And these are like... Um, yeah, it's it's really it's like in the Art Deco style. I'm not sure if this is. I, I think that's Art Deco style. So I think 19 something, 930s, or uh, I may have gotten my dates mixed up. I haven't been reading my uh, vintage bags uh, handbooks lately. So you know. All right. Okay. So this is pretty stiff, and this is by by Oroton. It's by this. I think this is an Australian company. And I think there's also a watch company, Oroton, right? No, or could that be Croton? No, 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 no. But I've come across leather bags uh, from this company, Oroton. So, it's really, really nice. Okay. See, it's, it's really, really, you know, it, it's a vintage bag. So, it's in good condition. And I've seen some shops and some people, they actually uh, frame these. They put them inside a frame and then they display them. I wish I could do that. Otherwise, this whole house would be filled with, <laughs> with handbags. Okay, so let me just see. I think it, 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 it made mention of uh, the White and Davis uh, uh, history or... Okay, it says here, uh, White and Davis... Uh, We've been joining little metal tiles into shimmering sheets of possibilities since 1876, and fashion trends are changing all the time. One thing that has remained constant is the glamour of a White and Davis handbag. Okay, so uh, delight in the luxurious feel, top quality brass metal mesh. Okay, so smooth, sleek, and silky, our handbags move with grace and fluidity they capture the light they capture the eye they capture hearts yeah uh, i would uh imagine yeah if you're attending a a formal gala or gala or something then this would be something that you would carry and i've seen also uh smoke no cigarette boxes and, and, and Martin Davis also manufactured um, jewelries but um, at this point i still don't own any Whiting and Davis jewelry so um, yeah, so it's really, really nice. I love these too. And this one too. Although I think you can, you can wear this anytime. Yeah, you can wear it to church. It's, it doesn't look so uh, formal. So, okay, there you go.